Hi, my name's Barry Gibb and I directed uh, the film you're about to see, The Singer's Tale. And Nola sent me some questions. So first thing she's asked is about the various elements that came together that allowed me to make this film when I did. I was working with a, an artist recording a, a podcast and she happened to mention that she had this amazing creative friend that uh, was working with a choir with people with neurological disability. And that immediately pricked up my ears because I normally make films about science. So I got in touch with Carol Grimes and we had this email back and forth over a couple of weeks or so. And then in the end, she agreed to meet me and we had a chat and we started this, uh, this journey together. So that's how it all came about. Musical influences. Oh my goodness. I grew up in a house that was listening to ABBA, rock and roll and of course the Bee Gees. Now... I think it's just fair to say I love all music, like many people, I just love music. And I don't really care whether it's electronic or classical or country and western. I mean, what I do love, for me, a good song is like a, a, a story. So I'm a massive fan of stories, obviously. So when I can listen to a song and be moved by its melody and moved by its sentiment, then that's the kind of stuff I love. I used to be a, a scientist and uh, the question is kind of about how that's influenced the way I work. I have not come up through the traditional film school. So being a scientist, I effectively thought that if you want to be a filmmaker, you just teach yourself all the stuff. You teach yourself how to use a camera, you teach yourself how to edit. And, and that's essentially what I, I did. So everything, my approach to work is very independent. It is, I find someone, I, I start to work with them. And, uh, and I do it all myself. Now, there are obviously disadvantages to that, but what I like about it, what I love about it, actually, is I feel that it allows you to create more of a rapport uh, and intimacy and trust with the, the person that you're making the film with. So that's probably the biggest thing. Ooh, what did I learn about myself whilst working with Carol Grimes? She helped me understand how important creativity was to me. And... I was going through quite a, a, a difficult time at that point, trying to decide what I wanted to do with my life, the types of films that I wanted to make. And, and I came away from making A Singer's Tale with a, a far stronger resolution to make films of this nature, things that are as much about an aspect of someone, be it their creativity and their music, but also that touched on some larger themes about maybe what it what it means to be human. And I always think it sounds pretentious, but I do also think that films that have those layers are some of the most interesting to watch. Do I have any tips for a filmmaker uh, making a film about music or a musician? Uh, the first thing I say is probably don't fall in love with a piece of music that you do not have the rights to use because that's just, you know, that's just really annoying and uh, and, and it can be very, very difficult. The the other thing, I guess this would apply to pretty much any film, is the question I always ask when I'm doing a film, especially when I'm editing it, is there's what what's the film about? You know, there's the kind of top level answer for what the film is about, but there's also a subsidiary question to that, which I think is perhaps the most important question, which is what's the film really about? So I'm not going to tell you uh, too much, but clearly... The Singer's Tale is, is a film about Carol Grimes. But I, I hope uh, through the process of watching it that you come away with uh, a feeling that it touches on bigger themes. Has COVID-19 introduced new ways of working for me? Uh, yeah, actually. I'm working with a couple of clients at the moment and we are trying to develop ways of getting scientists to film themselves and their work in labs and get it all sent to me so that I can then edit it up into a nice package, which is kind of interesting because it's quite experimental. It means that I'm having to effectively act as a producer, which is something that I haven't really done before. So we're trying to teach people remotely how to take decent shots with their phone and then upload it and everything like that. It's just a bunch of technical stuff, but you know, once I get it, it's the, the challenge is to then creatively turn it into something uh, that other people will enjoy watching. What am I working on at the moment or next? Uh, that I can't announce is uh, a film that I am almost finished called The Gift. And it's uh, it's a documentary about another artist, a wonderful woman called Barbara Bird, who passed away recently of cancer, breast cancer. And I 
worked with Carol, sorry, I worked with Barbara for the last 18 months of her life and followed her, well, basically up to her death and beyond. And I don't want to say too much about you know, how one does that at this stage, but I hope that when people see the final film, that it will be uplifting and moving and uh, in some small way, change the perspective on the world in a positive way. So that's it for me. I really hope you enjoy the film and uh, stay safe. Bye.